So this one here, we're going to incorporate how to add sprint onto our character. So at the moment, the character's moving quite slowly. So we're going to make the assumption that we already have a player character created that's got movement, doesn't matter if it's first person, second or third. We're going to go into project settings and then we will go and do our input map and we're going to add an option called sprint. And we're going to allocate our key for that. And we're going to hold down the shift key for that. So, now what we need to do is link this up in our script. So, we want this to run in the physics process when all the movement has been handled. So, if direction. So, in a 3D character, our z-axis, if you remember, is our forward and back. So, with a player, so we're moving forward and back along this axis. So, what we want to do... Check if we're sprinting. So we're going to have if input dot is action pressed. So this will handle our uh, being held. So if it is sprint, we'll just go we are sprinting. And what we're then going to do is basically modify our z velocity. I'm going to just going to set it so that it multiply it by a factor of two. What we can do is we could actually add a constant up here. Sprint velocity of two. And rather than coding in here, which we might forget, we can just put the sprint velocity here and then we can modify it anywhere we want here. So let's go and test this. So we'll jump back to our test environment, load up the scene, find our normally, hold down shift, we speed up, let go, we slow down. So that is how we can add sprint to our character. Obviously, if it was in a 2D, you'd be not moving on the z-axis, you're probably moving on the x-axis. Okay, that's all good.